Well, welcome back to News 12 at 4. On today's Dollars and Cents, I'm joined by Madison Piggy from Communications Federal Credit Union in Ardmore. And Madison, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So we're talking about something that we all should be doing. We're talking about saving money, and we're getting some good tips today <laughs> from Madison. What's a good way to set a goal for ourselves when it comes to saving? Um, I think you just should have the thing that you're really set on saving for. Um, such as big things in life, going to college, so saving money for like a kid or, you know, wanting to go on a big trip or something. Um, you need to make sure that you're really passionate about saving it for that. Um, you need to make sure that you're not um, being discouraging like yourself, you know, just have like reoccurring money being sent over or, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Just kind of set it and forget it if you can. Yes. Yes. Because it, it is challenging, especially with inflation and so many things that happen to come up, to continue to stay committed to a yes. goal of saving. Yes, so you like naming accounts so that you can kind of see that thing, yes. whether it's vacation or Christmas or whatever it is. Then we can kind of attach to that a little bit better. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's so much easier because you're set on that one goal. And so when you find the money and you're like, okay, I have $1,000 in here and I have to have $7,000 by the end of the month, then that's where the transfer comes in play. So you're having the money transferred from your checking account into your savings account. And so you're even forgetting about it and you know, you're having the money in there. So when you look back at your account by the end of the year and you have that $7,000 or even more, mm -hmm. then you know, you're set and you made your goal for the year. How do we keep from becoming discouraged along the way? You know, that is very hard. Um, you know, little things come up, you know, new tire, you know, house payments more expensive, electric payments more expensive, but you just, you gotta focus. You have to focus on, you know, this is what I'm set in stone for, and I want to go on this trip at the end of the year, and I have to continue to putting money in here for me to achieve that goal. Yeah, yeah. Can we set goals that are not realistic and also find ourselves facing discouragement? Um, I would say so, I mean, say so. Uh, you know, life's in, it's, it's, there's surprises in life. So, yeah. you know, little things come up and you just got to keep pushing. You know, if you want that goal, you got to run for it. So, Madison, what do we do if we didn't plan for the tire to go out, right, or yeah. the AC to go out? And then we look over there, we happen to see that money set aside for a vacation. I guess at that point, we're making a conscientious choice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, if for say, you have to pull money out of it, you know, next time you get paid, if you have it, double the funds in there. Okay. That's yes. a good tip for yes, us. Any other tips when it comes to saving and succeeding at saving? <laughs> I would just say if you really want it, then you know you got to push for it. You got to work hard and you play hard. So, I mean, you yeah. just got to keep striving for your goals. Are you hearing people say more now because of inflation that it's harder to save? Most definitely. Um, you know, it's going to be harder. Things are more expensive, but you know, even if you're used to putting twenty dollars in a month and you have to back down to fifteen you're still putting something in there, so you're still making the effort to achieve your goal. Okay, you gotta give me at least one story of someone coming back and saying, thank you so much for telling me to do that. Um, I, I've definitely had those. Um, there was this one lady that she you know, she came in and she was actually living out of town but had a, a communication federal account with us and she would send in a check every month and you know have the money deposited in there and then she would come in and be like, oh, this is what I saved this for. And so she didn't know what her total was the whole time. and. Yeah you know, eventually she found out when she came in. And it's something could be as simple as not having the, the evening or the dinner out, you know, or it's not going through the fast food restaurant <laughs> and picking up your favorite coffee. Um, but it, it can be easy for you to reappropriate those yeah. dollars. Yes, Thank yes ma'am. These Thank are you. great tips. <laughs> Thank you, Madison. And we'll be right back with a look at your forecast. Stay with us.